okay today's topic is filter design so, we will be discussing this particular topic today so what is filter what is filter? we already have an idea so what is filter so we already know that for example if we have some water this particular water contains lot of things so it may have sand particles stones and some bacteria and we want purified so we will have one filter with us yes that is some kind of filter like this and we'll put this water into this filter so this filter will process some portion and give us an output that is water again but without sand particles stone and bacteria right so okay <clears throat> so input is water plus sand particles plus stones plus back now this is filter filter is our system which will do some mathematical processing and allow only water to pass through it so we will receive only water thus this filter discriminate against sand stones and bacteria there may be certain other things in this particular water but this filter is not for removing all those stuff but this filter is specified to work with these three quantities right so this is the property of this particular filter there may be some filters which only can remove this sand particle there may be some filters which can only remove this stone particle there may be some filter which can only remove this bacteria particle right so what does it mean this particular system or this particular filter in our term it has some function we see it as a hn right and if you provide an input that is called xn in this case it is water and then we will receive some input yn that is purified water is combination of this water going through this particular filter and leading to this yn and which we already know in terms of digital signal processing that is xn convolution xn 
Okay. Now we know. If xn is defined from minus infinity to infinity and also xn is defined from minus infinity to infinity then yn in convolution term that is n equals to minus infinity to infinity hk or xk whatever you want to say previously then it is hk x of n minus k right now this is a general kind of system right which can take any input x and and then lead the value of y n now we want to initialize the system right so we'll provide xn equals to a exponential j omega n right where this n is defined from minus infinity to infinity now if you substitute then you have to find out the value of x n minus k then it will be a exponential j omega n minus k right? and then the value of y n if you substitute this equation into this part will be n equals to minus infinity to infinity h k exponential j omega n minus k okay <coughs> now we can do some mathematics over it and we can write it like this n equals to minus infinity to infinity h k exponential j omega n exponential minus j omega k right so we can write it like this and there is a also so i have not written a here so i'll just write it like this say so a and then we can write it like summation n equals to minus infinity to infinity and we can make this bracket h of k with exponential minus j omega k and then we can close this bracket and multiply it with exponential j omega n right so i have done something different here so it is actually k equals to right so it should be actually k equals to minus infinity to infinity right because we are substituting n's value and k will vary from infinity and where this n will be from minus infinity to infinity okay so then we have to change here also so this is k this is k and then we do that again and this is also k uh, if you see this particular part this is nothing but 4 here transform H K, right? You know this. So if we have a function H N, and then its Fourier transform is H omega, then H omega will be equal to summation n equals to minus infinity to infinity H N to minus J omega N, right? Then we can substitute that particular equation, this particular equation into yn. So then yn will be equal to a bracket summation k equals to minus infinity to infinity hk 
exponential minus j omega k and then exponential j omega f so, and then this y n can be written as a h of omega exponential j omega now this is particularly interesting why i just want to write it again xn the value of xn that is a exponential j omega and that's mean i have this system input and i have provided xn at the input that is a exponential j omega n and then there is a transfer function of this particular system that is hn and in frequency domain it is h omega which leads to the value of y n this y n is a of h omega exponential j omega n. now this is particularly interesting you can see the input a exponential j omega n and the output a h omega exponential j omega n differ by a multiplication factor from h omega this particular h omega is called eigen and the function due to which this relation may, may come into the existence is exponential j omega n and it's called eigen function right okay that's all for today so we'll discuss another part in the next lecture thank you